Good afternoon crafters, we are live and it is the last show of the Naughty Step from Crafter Select of today, Friday the 18th of December. The time is uh, five o'clock in the evening, it's our last show of the day. As always we will give it a little while just so everyone who would like to join us live can do so. And this afternoon essentially we are going to take that last look at the Naughty Step die sets. So we're going to have another look at the boards, we're going to have another look at the vignettes, we will have another look at the DT samples as well before we head on into a demonstration using this brand new die. So a couple of people joining us already, thank you very very much uh, for joining me this evening. If you've got any questions as we go through by all means type them up, I will do my very very best to try and answer as we go. Uh, Karen's here, hi Karen, thank you for joining us. Jill is here as well. We've also got Pauline and uh, Jackie as well and Bill and Sue by the looks of it. I'm sure there's more of you out there so do just type up hellos, comments, whatever you like and we will get to your comments as and when we can. So Naughty Step, here it is. If you are familiar with Carnation Crafts you will know the Naughty Step is a huge, huge deal. It's the place where we book our seats ready for the new collections. It's the place where we all hang out. It's the place where we all go to to enjoy a little bit of humour, a little bit of banter and it's where we go for our new collections. So the Naughty Step, part of the Crafter Select range. Carla's here. <laughs> Hi Carla, thanks for joining us this evening. I hope you're doing well. Angela, Pam, oh my goodness, lots and lots and lots of comments are suddenly coming in. I think my, uh, I think my internet takes a little while to actually uh, scroll up and update. Uh, Fiona's here as well. Fiona uh, Williamson is our sort of honorary um, member, if you like, almost, almost, I'm going to say in charge of the Naughty Step. Uh, she often facilitates uh, the coming together of people on the Naughty Step when it comes to new collections as well. And Fiona has actually had the Naughty Step to play with and she's just typed up that she's watching but also making another card. <laughs> I think she's, she's getting into this one. She has popped up loads and loads of inspiration on the Facebook group. So if you do want to see different ways of using this card shape, do look for those from Fiona. Do look for the ones from our design team as well. But Crafter Select is essentially a die collection which is web exclusive. You will not find this die anywhere else. It is only available from carnationcrafts.co.uk, which makes it really extra special. The code for this die set is 201130. So you just type that into uh, carnationcrafts.co.uk and the naughty step will come up it's priced at 14.99 and what you get within this die set is a whole host of dies here they are so it's just a little bit of fun the crafter select range is those dies that are as i say web exclusive but they are brought to you from a place of tongue-in-cheek they're brought to you with a little bit of humor they're brought to you with a story so these are things we know uh you guys are going to love they're going to either work with previous collections they're going to add into previous collections or they're going to bring you that little bit of humor and the naughty step does just that when we cut you will see you get the step with the word Naughty Step emblazoned on it. You can remove that and also have that Naughty Step separate as well, should you wish. You then have this whole tower of parcels, delicately balanced, I might add, on the Naughty Step itself. It comes with your panel for your map and layer, so it gives it a lovely sense of prominence on the front of your card, and also a split map and layer. So a die set that comes in two halves. Let me just hold that up so you can see. The outermost die there comes in two halves, so you can use that either over the edge cards, on gatefold cards, on apertures and the like. And also the sentiment here, again with its own map and layer, and the sentiment reads, oops, it happened again. <laughs> I think that's the sentiment we can all get behind. Because um, I don't know about any of you, but quite often my front doorstep does look like this. In fact, I did have to laugh when I came off the Facebook Live from one o'clock this, um, this afternoon knock on the door would you believe literally just as i came off the live and it was my um it was my ups driver who is very sweet and comes every day and he brought all the samples uh, for an upcoming launch from the dt um so they are <laughs> they was literally stacked like this just like we're seeing on the naughty step and i did have to have a giggle to myself now Obviously, you when you get your die, you can cut that from playing card and then decorate it, colour it, use whichever mediums you want to add in design. However, what we have done for you is a little bit of a festive treat, something a little bit special. We're giving you 
the vignettes. So normally when we when we bring you a dye set, so normally when we bring you a dye like this, we will gift you one uh, original colourway download for free that you can go on to carnationcrafts.co.uk and download and cut your images from. This time around, we wanted to go all out. We've given you five colourways. Fantastic. That means you're going to be crafting in all sorts of colours. It's going to work with all sorts of themes. It's going to work with all sorts of stories as well. We start with the original colourway. So the grey step with the brown parcels, the pink parcels, really lovely subtle colours to it, more true to life colours as well. And the sentiments do come with the vignettes too. The next colourway, purples and lilacs. Perhaps you want to go a little bit girly. Perhaps it's someone who has, um, you're making a card for someone who has uh, just the love of ordering things like nail varnishes, lipsticks, makeup, all these sort of things, handbags. Um, I know one called Miss Wheeler. <laughs> This would be her naughty step, I think. You can then have, obviously, the sentiment again in the same colourways. So everything matches tonally. We then have the blue version with the grey parcels on it. Again, great for more masculine cards. Brilliant if you just want a little bit of perspective. Perhaps you want to cut into these, have a few of the greyer parcels behind the other colours to give that sense of the parcels being in shadow. We then have the sepia tones, a little bit like a film set here, uh, with the beautiful oranges, browns, that sort of thing. Again, with the uh, sentiment coloured in the same way too. And we finish with the monochrome in the grey and black tones as well great for a little bit more shading and shadow in your design it's going to keep you crafting for ages perhaps you want to create a little bit of an in-joke card for somebody who just loves ordering things off the internet and we, we it's almost like a little bit of an in-joke where you're just having a little bit of rip little bit of banter with them saying you know this looks like your step because there's lots of naughty steps going on here perhaps it's something you want to create for your delivery drivers as a thank you card perhaps it's your postman who you just want to give them a card at the end of the year to say thank you for getting me through lockdown with your deliveries and things anything like that it's just a bit of fun and because you've got all those colorways it does mean that die set is going to work with other dies from the carnation range as well now before we go on to the um cards designed by our wonderful dt i'm going to show you some ways of using the naughty step in a variety of situations i'm going to have a little scroll back and make sure i'm not missing anything at all <laughs> Angie, Angie said my delivery, Angie's part of the DT. Um, my delivery from Crate and Craft was like that today. And she's put sort of the all oh, head in hands kind of emoji there. Of course, it was all DT stuff, honestly. Well, Angie, you know what? You don't need an excuse. You don't need an excuse to sit on the naughty step. Everyone is welcome. It's fine. <laughs> I just, it just makes me giggle how everyone is really getting behind the naughty step idea. Um, Carol says, looking forward to catching up as missed the other shows as was at work. Well, Carol, welcome along to this evening's show. It absolutely doesn't matter if you've missed the other ones. If you do want to catch some inspiration, we do upload all the videos after the event so you can watch back at your leisure anytime. Uh, Sheena says she's ordered hers this morning. That's fantastic, Sheena. Happy crafting when that arrives with you. Uh, Liz says, thanks for the links for using the split dies. No problem at all. Um, on that note, just that will be a conversation from this afternoon's video. Uh, so you're more than welcome, Liz. We do have a whole host of other tutorial videos uh, in our Facebook group, Carnation Crafters. Just head on over to that and you will find lots and lots of different tutorials covering a whole multitude of different dies and also different techniques as well. Uh, Sue says, mine is ordered Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Sue. Thank you for your kind wishes there. Uh, well, have we got any other questions? Rita says, loving this one. Thank you, Rita. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It has been keeping me very much entertained whilst I've been making up the demos and enjoying the DT samples as well. Carol says, hello again, everyone. Hi, Carol. Hi, Tina. Um, Sheila says, hi. Lots of people joining us. Thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your evening to keep me company as well, which is fabulous. <laughs> And she just said um, uh, she'd wish she'd thought of that for the, the naughty step cars to go with her handmade gingerbread men for her delivery drivers. That's really lovely to give something like that. Do you know that would be fab, wouldn't it? Because actually, if you take a look at the naughty step, um, I was just suddenly thinking, wouldn't this be fun as like a gift tag on a parcel as well? You've got that detailing there. You've got the space on the step to write for it, to it, to and from. I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but it would. It would be really, really fab as a little gift, gift tag. And I just love the way you can create a gift tag from the Naughty Step and then have a card with the Naughty Step on as well. So you've got that theme running through your design there. Love that idea. Fabulous idea, Angie. Um, Sandra says Morphe's quiet. Yeah, I, do you know what? It's 
I don't know where he is. Oh, he's asleep in his box, which is is good. What I will do, I will show him at the end of the video for anyone that wants to see him. If you're not familiar with who Morph is, Morph is my little um. I say little. He's more like the size of small small horse now, but he's my uh, ragdoll cat, and he he's so naughty. He should be on the naughty step, honestly. So let's take a look at some of the DT samples. This one is by Lavinia. And this is what we mean. This is where this naughty step comes into play. Yes, you've seen it in its single form where you've got sort of the naughty step on its own. But look how you can be creating a whole story, a whole sort of evolution, if you like, of the naughty step. Lavinia has teamed her naughty step with characters from the Naughty But Mice. So these little mice getting up to all sorts of mischief there, lifting the naughty step, having the naughty steps um, parcels in their but uh, baskets there whilst they're sort of ascending the door things like that really 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 fab the backing papers that you see throughout the cards throughout the demonstrations are of course a free download we give these to you for absolutely nothing they are free for you to download and enjoy but it just sets that background for you as well those are available to download from carnationcrafts.co.uk and we will of course as we always do pop up links after the facebook live so you can grab yours as well um, I've got to show you this one. This one just makes me smile. This one's also by Lavinia. Thank you, Lavinia. Um, this is this is you in the Highland Cow. He featured as part of Gifted Giving, and he has a whole host of naughty steps. I mean, this little cow obviously went crazy one day with his orders, and he's even admitted to it in his sign here that he's holding. It's the sentiment. Oops, it happened again. Would well, you know what? you and it certainly did because you've got the lilac parcels there you've got the gray parcels there you've got the naughty step in front we've got towers of parcels behind you again this has been teamed with one of the backing papers as well so this is one of the focus vignettes um where it's sort of out of focus soft blur finish which means anything we pop in front it plays around with perspective anything we pop in front is in sharp sharp focus bringing those parcels and bringing our little moo cow there really far forward into the design aspect Perhaps you want to enjoy a little bit of comfort home with your collection as well. This one's created by Pam. Thank you, Pam. And she's literally used the naughty step as the naughty step, as steps leading up to one of the doors from the comfort home collection there. She's teamed it with the pot plants as well and created this lovely um, idea of mats and layers sort of on a on an angle there using the pretty shabby dye collection as well really simple i mean this could be a moving card this could be a new home card as well it could be for any reason but you know what i think it's a lot of fun as well shall we get stuck into a demonstration i think we should let's 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 do that so let's turn the camera around there and just get that into view. So this time around, what we're doing is we're gonna go a little bit more clean and simple with the card, with the story design, but we'll be focusing on some of the backing papers and of course our naughty step will feature. As we go through, by all means, do type up any questions if you have them and we will try and answer as many as we can. So we're gonna start this time around. I think I've cut my card to maybe six and a half by eight inches so it's um a side fold card there so it's white on white so it's not the best best surface to be working on and we're going to introduce those mats and layers now we keep sort of saying things like mats and layers mats and layers mats and layers the reason why mats and layers define the edge of your card they draw the focus in and frame everything as well now the color palette we've chosen to use on this one is this wonderful color palette of gray and pink and it's so so on trend at the moment now you might be wondering where we've got those card um, card downloads from these are a free download of course to go with that naughty step so they're all color coordinated with the naughty steps with the vignettes with the design as well we've taken a little bit more of a wider um range around the edge of this card because we've got that nice sort of dark color from the slate into that dusky pink gorgeous just sublime color for these vignettes and we wanted to highlight this so what we've done is taken one of the backing papers and we've picked colors from this so to work this design we've taken the slate gray as one of our um mats and layers and we've also taken this mid-tone this pink tone as one of the mats and layers so you can always find coordination between the backing papers and the cardstock and of course those vignettes this one 
is of the lighthouse. So I've tried to cover all of the different um, versions of the backing papers during the demonstration. So this is the final one. So this is the lighthouse and it's just another level of a bit of a giggle because no matter where you are in the world, there is always chance for a naughty step. So even if you're on sort of right at the far, farthest reaches, the farthest point of um, the iron island or wherever you might be living, if you're even living in a lighthouse, you can still enjoy the naughty step there. Beautiful backing paper, such a very, very tranquil scene there. But we wanted to play around with perspective. So we've cut it a second time. And this time around, we've cut an aperture. Now, the reason we've done that is it focuses the look. So you've got your foreground with the sort of hedgerow and the naughty step and the steps leading up the side of the hill into the area where you've then got the um, lighthouse there as well. So it's a little bit of a design quirk. It's a little bit of a look to your card. If you want to play around with drawing the eye in, drawing the attention through, that's a really good way to do it. So again... This time around for these layers, we're using foam tape. I've used uh, two lots of one mil foam tape. So we're lifting up this particular side by two millimeters. And then in around the aperture and of course down the bottom here, we're just using the foam tape as a stabilizer. We don't need to worry about taking the backs off those. And the trick here is just to line up. Now you'll notice this background paper is smaller than what the paper normally prints out. So normally what we say is print your designs at actual size. It will print a full A4 sheet. But because we wanted to go on a slightly smaller card look and just scale down that design, we've just adjusted the uh, print settings, the print size settings for this. So this gives us a really pretty background onto which to begin our design. It's going to be a clean and simple card, really quickly comes together. But from that height and dimension, no matter which area you look, you've got that colour because you're using those two same backing papers like so. Before I add anything else, let me just scroll back and check. I haven't missed any comments or questions. Ah, oh, my mum is here. Hi, mum. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Mum's probably watching whilst painting. She's doing some really lovely painting at the minute as well. Um, no, I can't see any questions coming in. That's that's good. That normally means I've either covered anything or anyone, someone hasn't thought of a question yet, which is fine. Um, let me just show you actually what I mean by the size of the vignettes. So these would print at full size like so. So you've got the full size here of that same backing paper. So it's a great way to get even more craftability, even more usability out of your designs. You can play around with the sizes that you print to work in with your designs as you wish. Now, we're gonna go in, just really, really simple, just a couple more things we're gonna add. Sentiment and of course the naughty step. Now the naughty step is cut from the original colorway vignette. Remember this is a free download, but it is from a mirrored download as well. I just wanted to touch on that quickly, um, how we print, how we go about and how we use mirrored vignettes. So when you come to print, uh, you will um, get your download, take it through checkout and a download pop-up link. It says download now will appear. It's also emailed to you as well. If you do have an account with us, you can then look back at your downloads on your account as well. When you come to print, please, please, please do consider using pro printing paper. Not only does it save you ink, it also ensures you're going to get the best and highest quality of design and finish and colour from those vignettes as well. So when you print the mirrored vignettes, you get two sides, either side of a black line down the center of the design, not necessarily down the center of the piece of paper. When you print uh, on pro paper, especially use your high quality print settings and also set them to print on matte photo paper, okay? Now the key to mirrored vignettes is what we're doing here is folding exactly along that black line. Now the easiest way we found to do it, you can use a scoreboard, but sometimes because that line is thin, the score goes either side of it. If you snip into the line, top and bottom, and then just gently squidge either side, that snip will begin your fold exactly on the line, exactly on that black line. And then we just squidge, technical term there, all the way along and fold, okay? That gives us a precise and even fold 
exactly along that black line. What we can do from here, if we want to, we can either just simply cut, which will give us two cuts, two die cuts if you want to peel them apart, or a little bit of spray adhesive, for example, to hold uh, the two sides together, a little bit of, I don't know, tape runner, something like that, um, if you wish to. You can then take your die sets, like so, from the packaging, that storage solution packaging as well. Keep an eye on the website if you are looking for extra storage solutions. <laughs> they are coming soon. And of course, the sentiment at the bottom there as well. So all you need to do is align your die and your dies like so. And you'll notice you have this little bit of a bleed line, this bleed edge around the die itself. That's simply to help, A, with lining up so you get all your cuts in exactly the right place, but it also ensures edge to edge color when you cut, so there's no white bits. Um, take these in place using a low tack tape. Um, I use a scotch tape. You don't need much, just on the die, just onto the paper to hold it in place. It's just to ensure that when it goes through the die cutting machine, it's not shifting about. It's going to cut and stay in the right place for you. Through the die cutting machine, it goes. And when it cuts, it will cut all of those cut line details. And you will be left with all the impressions on the naughty step like so. And if you stuck your design together or if you're using that photo paper it usually sticks on its own right you then get the design at both sides now you might wonder where would we use this kind of look well the idea is simply because you're going to be using this and adding height to it so if you want to um, add in dimension if you want to twist up these parcels for example when you view from the side you're not going to see any white edges because the colour is on the reverse as well. Perhaps you want to be using these over acetate. Perhaps you want to be using these over the edge of cards, but you're going to see the back of them. It does mean you've then got the ability to have the colour on the reverse so as not to detract from the overall design. A couple of people asking where I get the tape from. Um, it is actually Scotch repositionable low tack adhesive and I, I i mean amazon most craft places have have it on there as well so i've cut this twice and you'll see on this one i've cut into the die the words naughty step okay so that does come as a separate element here on the die set you'll see so it was all lined up to fit within the aperture on the step itself if you want to cut that in. You can also then cut that into large areas of the backing paper should you wish as well. And then I've cut another version without the word naughty step on because we're just going to layer these up. Now the naughty step is going to line up again with that backing paper. So you see how you've got the same colour in the backing papers, same uh, depth to the step in the backing papers. It all then matches. But before we put it down, we're just going to give that a little bit of height, a little bit of dimension, and we're going to grab our pin flare glue gel and squidge just into areas to lift. Now the reason I'm using pin flare um, 3D glue gel is because it gives height and dimension but it also allows me a little bit of wiggle room so I don't have to be so precise exactly when I when I stick my project together but it just means when I come to adjust it I've got time it also dries clear now the nice thing is with that you've got just a few little trails of parcels coming over the edge of that aperture again aiding that look of perspective as well for this one rather than using uh, the parcels on the step Let's just snip into the, the parcels there. We're going to release them from the step, release them from the overall look oops, of the die cut there. And we're going to use them independently as well. OK, so again, you're not limited to use the die cut just how it is. You are more than welcome to snip into them and use them how you wish. Now, you'll notice as we're using these coloured vignettes, this is the original colourway. But look how well you've got these tones, OK? So this is what Carnation do just so fabulously. This grey on the packaging of this particular parcel matches exactly with the grey for the download. It matches exactly with the grey in the backing paper. Similarly, this pink, this dusky sort of pink colour that you see on this parcel matches in with your backing paper. It matches in with your backing download. And it's these little things, these little quirks, these little design aspects that the team put so, so much effort into creating for you that mean your designs work perfectly together. You get this wonderful sense of harmony from the look 
of our vignettes and backing papers and of course coloured card downloads as well. Now I'm going to use both of the little snipped bits and again we're just going to position them around the naughty step just to have this little bit of fun this little sense of you know there's lots and lots of parcels awaiting the lighthouse keeper what would a lighthouse keeper order do you think online i think maybe maybe a jumper it's probably quite cold in a lighthouse i would say socks possibly i think that's probably what he's got in his parcels and again, each time we're just going to add in a few little uh, twists and turns to the parcels to give them height and dimension. My glue has got a little bit gloopy. That's because I was very naughty and left the lid off of it last demonstration. And we're just going to overlap those. So you see how now you're kind of building this story. You've got those, those parcels precariously positioned on the naughty step, but more deliveries have come and they're just not going to go on top of the tower so we've cut them down and we've added them around the naughty step as well to finish this card nice clean simple card we're going with the sentiment oops it happened again and we're mirroring the vignettes the designs and the card stock that we've used in the background so we're going from that slate gray into the dusky pink into this is one of the blush um, card stocks here and we've used oops it happened again again in that slate gray finish everything tonally matches now rather having it off to one side or down the bottom of covering things up do think about having things like your sentiments off to one side okay the reason we're going to pop it here is your naughty step is slightly off center as well so it just balances out the design and look we've lifted it on a layer of foam tape. But obviously, because this side is gonna sit into the aperture, you have to add a few more layers of your foam tape so it sits um, evenly and straight. Just aligning that with the edge of your card, like so. And there we have a nice, clean, simple, but a very effective card design featuring that naughty step. Like so. Okay, I think. I haven't got any more questions coming in. Let me just turn the camera around. Oh, hello. <laughs> so this is the card we've just created using that Naughty Step die. Remember, it's the original color download for free. The backing papers are for free. That Naughty Step, the die set itself from the Crafter Select range. Code is 201130, priced at 14.99 and available as a web exclusive, meaning it's only available from carnationcrafts.co.uk features as the main item on there so that's the card we've made this evening nice clean simple quite nice fresh filter i just adore that color palette as well i think those those designs can be used in quite a few of my cards coming up because i just love the slate gray and the pink colors um this morning let's take a look at the other cards we've designed as well because there's so many different ways of using this die set so this morning we used yet another one of those backing papers and almost the backing papers gave the theme to the card designs. So this one is the gate from uh, Garden Safari and of course the naughty step in front. So we've teamed that with dyes from Garden Safari, the wild blooms and the uh, garden glimmers with our little insects there. And of course the naughty step sort of tumbling down all the parcels onto the steps itself, finished with the sentiment there. Oops, it happened again, colour matched to the vignettes there as well. And the final card we made or the card we made at lunchtime <laughs> it's hard to pick a favourite, isn't it? This one features the door background and the crafty little things, mice. Again, we've cut into the background there to create even more layers, even more story. So this has the window from Comfort of Home. It has one of the mice from Crafty Little Things in there. He's gone inside, so he's been out and taken the first lot of gifts or presents of orders from the Naughty Step. He's clutching them in his arms. His fellow mice friends are now auditing the more Naughty Step. Um, we got a little clerk mouse here again from Crafty Little Things. He's checking off the list there <laughs> for these parcels. We then combined the parcels. So we've used the traditional colourway and the original colourway vignette uh, with the sort of grey tones. And it makes the grey tones look like they're in shadow. So you're creating this sense of depth within the design as well. And we got this little mouse heaving his parcels up the step ready to take in and his little friend mouse wandering along the step probably getting a little bit distracted because he doesn't look like he's the kind of mouse who's really paying attention he looks like he's about to trip over if i'm honest looks like he's going to trip over some of the parcels he's got some of the parcels in his hands and we've just taken just the word oops from the sentiment on here so three different cards three different looks 
all using that naughty step die cut. Don't forget there's lots more inspiration on the Facebook group as well from the lovely Fiona and also our wonderful DT members as well. So hop on over to that. I will be around for a little while after the Facebook Live ends. So if you do have any questions, do type them up and we will go through them afterwards. But I will pop up all the links, not only to that naughty step, so you can grab yours as well, but also to the backing papers and the vignettes too. Thank you so much for joining me through the day and of course for this evening. And I shall see you, uh, we are back on air on Monday. Uh, Monday the 21st of December with a new launch of which features the Garden Safari stamp set as well. So I shall see you then. Take care. Bye bye.